What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be going over Should you summon on the new Blazing Bash Naruto banner? Now, uh, before we get into this video, uh, the reason why I'm doing this now is because um, we didn't have this uh, translations for uh, Anton. He, he posted them 9 hours ago, so literally like last night at like 12 or 1, 1 o'clock in the morning, for me anyways. Um, so yeah, we didn't have the scans or anything like that. Or the translations of like what his jutsus did and all that stuff so i wanted to wait until we officially knew before i would do it right so anyways uh we're gonna go ahead and get into it i'm gonna talk about the naruto then i'm gonna talk about the banner and give my ultimate opinion so uh this is pvp pve form excuse me um 1300 hp 2500 attack stat mid range reduces attack reduction reduces switch ceiling which attack reduction is butt cheeks but the switch ceiling is actually really good right well, the attack reduction is kind of all right, I guess, but it's not that big a deal. Five times attack and heart damage to one enemy ignores any damage reduction effects and knocks him back. This would be good on the PvP one, but since it's PvE, it's kind of useless. Uh, eight chakra, ten times attack uh, and heart damage to all enemies in range. Nullifies type disadvantage and knocks him back. So yeah, he negates type disadvantage. He does the same damage to all units. Now, one thing to note is that his first jutsu is five times, and his ultimate is ten times. So his first two first jutsus do the same amount as uh, his ultimate. The only difference would be that his ult is AOE. So yeah, uh, we're not gonna get into his PVP stuff because of the PVE form. But anyways, uh, reduces skill, heart, and body damage by 25 percent. Uh, 20 percent chance to use zero chakra on normal jutsu. 30% chance to use your chakra on all, which is pretty hard. His abilities are pretty okay. Uh, Secret Heart nullifies Jutsu Ceiling. Secret Leaf uh, reduces chance of being chakra recovery sealed by 30%. So, overall, uh, pretty decent. Nothing crazy, but it's not bad, right? Now, uh, I want to get into his PvP form, right? By the way, he goes 28 costs, which is pretty cool. Uh, anyways. So, same field and buddy skill, you know, whatever. We're not going to talk about a PvE because we don't care about that. But, uh, yeah, PvP stats. 38,000 HP, really good HP. 4,300 attack stat, really good attack stat. 267 speed, no pills. So, with pills, that'd be 297. Pretty good speed for being having 40k HP, right? Going on to his Jutsus. Uh, for 4 chakra, 4.2 times attack and heart damage to all enemies in range, knocks them back. Gives 20% uh, dodge to self for 3 turns. Going to his ultimate, for 8 chakra, 10 times attack and heart damage to all enemies in range, removes their barrier perfect dodge, ignores sub, and knocks them back. Reduces own HP by 25% and restores chakra by 4. Now, for PvE, that's really good. For PvP, Chances are, if you ult, they're dead. You like the game's over. So it's like getting four chakra back doesn't even mean anything, right? Going on to abilities, uh, increase heart damage by sixty percent because there's two of them. Increase damage to body by sixty percent because there's two of them. And then uh, in PVE, right? He starts the mission with his ultimate. That's what that is. In PVP, he deals five thousand damage to enemies front row characters upon death. And then same six skills, right? So, uh, overall, this Naruto is nothing crazy. He's very mediocre. Uh, his Jutsu practically does nothing because there's so many units that ignore dodge and stuff like that. So, it, it, his first Jutsu practically does nothing. His abilities are kind of useless because it's like... Uh, I did the math, right? Say you're max duped. You only do 30k damage to heart units. You do 20k damage to body units. So even still, that's not like a crazy... I mean, 30k is actually a lot, but like the hitbox on his Jutsu is really bad. Here, I can actually show you. The hitbox on his Jutsu, right here. This is the hitbox. See that? The hitbox on that Jutsu is not that good. Right? That, that doesn't work in most situations. So, it's just like... His jutsu is not that good, to be honest. And overall, he's just really like a lackluster unit. Because like, he's not super fast. So he would need to be like really tanky. 
but he's not really tanky either because he has no damage reduction, right? And it's like, yeah, he's close to 40k, but that's two jutsus for, for a lot of units. So, like, he's not that good in that area. Let's go ahead and go to his, uh, what's it called? His banner. His banner has Obito, Madara, Minato. Now, I will say, Minato is the best Blazing Bash unit in the game. Bar none. If we're talking about individuality, Minato is the best Blazing Bash unit in the game. Now, Madara and Obito, on the other hand, are very me uh, mediocre. Like, if you have zero dupes on those units, they're unusable. You can use Minato with dupes or without dupes. 100%. Right? So, it's like that Obito and Madara just really bring it back. So, pretty much this banner is one of the best unit with three mediocre units. I'm telling you guys right now, in my opinion, it's not worth it to summon. The chances of you getting Minato or getting a very mediocre unit, it, it, it's not a good odds. So, I, I'd say don't summon. Now, obviously, you can do what you want. I'm not your parent. Um, anyways, that's going to be about it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Suicide